How is it that you and I can actually receive spiritual life, resurrection life from Jesus? We need a personal connection. And this happens by personal communication, by prayer. And you could call it the sinner's prayer. You could call it the dead man's prayer. It's a prayer where we don't really ask for anything. We don't try to lay anything out before God. We just simply receive God's life as a free gift. First, we open up and we say, look, I, I don't have what I need. I'm spiritually dead. I, I'm dead in my lifestyle. I'm dead in my value system. I'm dead in my relationships and in myself. And every one of us, if we're honest, has experienced that kind of deadness. Second, in that prayer, we open our hearts to receive the gift of spiritual life in Jesus, crucified for us and raised from us, the life that's uniquely available in him. Every one of us needs this life, this Jesus life. And God has given every one of us the capacity. He's working in, a, in some of your hearts even now to open yourself up to Jesus and to receive his life. Some pastors call this yielding. It's not that we do anything except say, okay, God. We, we get ourselves out of the way. We get our objections out of the way. We say, look, for now I'm just going to lay my doubts aside and just trust you and open myself to receive your life. What I'd like to do now is, is to lead us in, in that kind of prayer. And, and um, Nick, why don't you come up and just be ready to, to sing. After I pray, Nick's going to sing a song to help us continue on in prayer. And, and then we'll have, after that, just that time of prayer that's for us, really. We're going to have a time of prayer after Nick sings that's for others. We can just lift up others to God. But this time is for you and me and God. And so let's bow before God in prayer, shall we?